We have here the ladder roller and carrier. And of course, we have all experienced uh, grabbing our ladders, walking them across the yard, around the house, the clumsiness of it. And so this um, ladder roller carrier is designed to place these wheels on the back end, as you can see here. And then uh, the handle part goes up on the front part of the ladder. You lift the front part and you row uh, the back. And uh, the wheels are kind of small, so I don't think this is going to work very well in grass, especially here in South Florida uh, in the sand. But we're going to give it a shot and see how it does. It is, you can tell by the picture, designed to be like on a sidewalk or you know, your driveway or concrete of some kind. All right, so we're going to take this apart, try it on different ladders, and uh, see how it fits different types of ladders and how it works. We can see here, according to the instructions, you can use this on a frame ladder paint can carrier, the handle part of it, paint can holder, an extension off the side of your ladder. We will look and see how all of these work. Extension ladder carrier, a drill gun holder, and a multi-purpose ladder carrier. So we will try all of these out and see how well the handle and the wheels function. We have here a six foot painter's ladder, a specialty ladder, it's also a painter's ladder. And we have a, a 10 foot, I believe, extension, stands up to 20 feet ladder. So we're gonna try this ladder roller on all of them and uh, see how they work. This is the ladder roller. Um, taken out of its package. So with the handle, you'll see a couple of things. There's the wider gap. Then there's these two inner gaps. This one right here and this one here. They're used for different uh, reasons. And then of course, the handle. So they call it a paint carrier. Since that you can get a paint can and put one of the handles here, one of the handles there. You can even put a third can if you wanted to, and that's what they mean by that. And you know, the, the handle's thicker, so it gives a more comfortable grip on carrying the uh, paint can. So that's basically what it is concerning that. Now the purpose of these lips here is this is what hooks on to the ladder if you're gonna carry it. So you would uh, open the ladder just slightly and slip the thicker part on the skinny part of the ladder. And then this wide gap here goes over the thick leg of the ladder and this slips up inside of the groove. Let's see if I can show you that. So you, you come over to your ladder open it just a little and uh, thick port slips there this goes over that goes right up underneath and you're able to pick your ladder up well I guess you got to balance the crazy thing and uh, so let's go let's go up here with it there we go slides to your slider till you find it so you got the balance and uh, you're able to walk around with your ladder. But if the ladder is a little bit too heavy for you, then you're gonna use the wheels. Now, the only thing about the wheels is you're gonna to have to zip tie this to the ladder. You can see these holes here on both sides. So you put this on the base of the ladder and you zip tie this to that, to the bottom part of the thick leg down there. 
and then um, of course the opposite end, the opposite side of the ladder, the handle, obviously. And then you lift up on, then you would put the handle up front and the wheels would go in the back. I'm gonna do that to show you. Now they do have one other option. Uh, you still have to use zip ties. And what they, what they say to do is to put this back together. Uh, like, sorry about that. It slips in just like that together. This goes, this, these two little guys here slip in and on the inside. There you go. And then you zip tie, you see this hole right here? Let's see if I can show you, right there. You bring a zip tie through there and you would zip tie the wheels to the handle. Then you could do it this way. You would come over and that's where, let me come back and show you, that's where the two inner lips come in, the two inside lips. And you would put this on the thicker leg, kind of open it up a little, slip it in and let it sit on that. Just kind of rotate her around like so. Then you're able to come over here, lift up the ladder, and she'll roll either way, just like just like that. So that's how that's how that that works. All right. So if you're using the same ladder all day. Uh, it would be best to just zip tie the wheels to the ladder. Now, if you use multiple ladders, these things are not expensive. 13, somewhere, depending on where you buy them, between 13 and 20 bucks. Then, you know, you just buy, you, you buy multiples of these guys and you put the wheels, this is what I'm gonna do. And you put the wheels on every, you know, every ladder that you have. So when you go to grab it, you have the handle right there by it and the wheels are already attached and you just slip the handle on and and away you go all right let's talk a little bit about the zip tying of this uh they have the you know the main hole there like i showed you and, and the four holes here two on each side that you can use to attach to this to this ladder um, it's, it's not like it just snaps on there and you zip tie it and you're just going to have to get some long zip ties, go through these holes and wrap around the bottom of that ladder and tighten it real good. And once you do that, you know, it, it's fine. It'll stay there. And like I said, you buy one of these for each one of your ladders. Um, but I, what I suggest is that what I'm going to do is get two of these. And, um, and then that way you can use the handle because the best way to attach this guy to the ladder is using the handle. And so you zip tie the wheels, there's a hole there designed. You zip tie the wheels to the handle. And you just come right over here, base of this thing, and just slip it on. And then that's going to stay on by, you know, being being hooked being hooked in there up inside of the uh, the railing. Now, then you flip it over and you just use your hand on the other side, or you can go buy another set and you can you'll have a handle. It's nice to have the handle because uh, it's also used for to, to like. Take your drill. So you would you would take this handle and uh, come up here. Once you stand your ladder up, so if you can see this. Bring it in just a little closer. You stand your ladder up. Then you're able to take this guy using the two inner clips, right? Not the outer one, the two inner clips. 
using the fat part of the drill and you slip that on there and then you've got yourself a place where you can sit your drill and it'll uh, it'll hold right there for that. So that's how you use it for the for the drill. So it's a I use ladders a lot. I'm on two and a half acres, dragging them all over the place. Um, it's it's a, nan, a, a, a a dandy little thing, nifty. I think I was saying uh, dandy and nifty at the same time. Um, so I, I like it but it can certainly use some improvements on how it attaches to the ladder. Now they say it's universal for specialty ladder or for um, an extension ladder, uh, but it, it works the same. You just use these clips to clip onto the leg of the ladder uh, to uh, you know drag it along. If you're going to uh, do that, you'll want to attach the wheels to this handle and then attach it to one end of the ladder. It doesn't matter what end of the ladder you put it on. So uh, I tried it out, it rolls. As you saw, it rolls nice, you know, once it's on. And um, the wheels are not very big, but they're big enough to roll in grass, certainly better than what you would have if you were trying to drag it across the ground. Um, so it seems like it's going to work uh, just fine. The directions, uh, are not very helpful. They have little pictures, but they don't really Until you actually try to do it. You just can't figure it out. And so to sum it up If you're going to attach the wheels to the handle so and Put it all together on the on the bottom the base of the ladder Then you, you put the wheels with the handles like this you use this hole right here, you zip tie the handle to the wheels, then you use the two inside clips to go over the, the fat part of the fatter leg, the bigger leg, and then you can also zip tie that to the ladder if you want, just to give it more security, but you don't have to. Uh, the clips will hold it uh, uh, just fine. Or you can buy, or you can figure out a way to zip tie this to the by itself to the base of the ladder, which is doable. You just got to get long straps and um, and use the handle uh, take, so that you can carry the ladder up front while you roll it on the wheels in the back. And then you can also use the handle to put your drill, uh, ho hold your drill with it and things like that. So that's pretty much the scope of this thing. It's called a, um, a ladder roller. And um, if you use ladders a lot, I say it's worth it. And get one for each ladder would be the best way to go in my opinion. And uh, away you go. So I hope this kind of helps you out a little bit.